Good morning and welcome to the Mike Show for Thursday, August 24, 2023. 64 degrees at 8.58 a.m. and I'm your host, Ba Kamal, and I'm a sinner. A tired sinner and an achy sinner. I'm here with Brother Prince and Co-Star Samuel, Sister Princess and Co-Star Elsie, Brother Prince and Co-Star Max, Brother Prince and Co-Star Michael, and Brother Prince and Co-Star Sullivan is outside on an adventure. Oh, there he is out there. There were several doves and city chickens feeding out there. They've since taken wing. Oh boy, it's another misty overcast day, or I should say cloudy overcast day. It was misty most of the day yesterday, and then it started raining late in the day, and it was nice. I enjoyed it. Um, after coffee and wake-up time, what did we do, honeys? I don't know. <laughs> oh, I know we made iced coffee and took one to Jeff at Full Bore, because I promised him I would, and found out the status of my... SP-101, and it's being shipped back to the factory for repair, and they're expecting a four to six weeks turnaround on it. So, anyway, I stopped at Meyer. I scored some new and used food, and came home and regrouped. What did we have for breakfast? I had some leftover potatoes and sweet potatoes and onions that I heated, reheated and made a sausage patty and had a, did I have a peach or a nectarine? And, oh, we baked bread in the morning also. That's right. I took a loaf of that to Keith that save a lot. Look at those sweethearts. And then drove out to Norway Ridge and parked the truck and then started riding the Devil's Lake Trail on the fat bike. And we crossed Spruce Road, rode the trail over to Berlinski Road and got back on the snowmobile trail or the whatever trail you call it out to Indian Reserve area. And then rode through Norway and back to the truck and came home. Stopped at Marine Market on the way home and scored a, what did we score? A ring of sweet heat bologna and a couple chicken thighs, which we're going to cook today and turn into sandwich spread. Uh, we biked 25 miles and it was quite a ride and quite an ordeal. It was quite an adventure out in the Thunder Bay State Forest, riding my fatty and uh, for most of the ride it was just misty and it was nice, it wasn't bad, it wasn't too hot, it wasn't too cold and it was so nice being out in the forest with it being so lush and green and everything freshly washed and smelling so good and uh, about 20 miles into the ride and maybe 45 minutes away from the parking lot mist turned into a light steady rain but I didn't mind one bit it was a great ride and I'm going out there to do it again yes I am I'm just trying to figure out which way to go we're gonna to have to clean the bike off oil it put some air in the tires and off we're going to go and oh it was it was awesome I was riding around just checking out where some trails go I knew where a lot of them did I've been on them before but haven't been on them in a while I rode through the campground at Indian Reserve Road I was taking trails that went back and forth from the the two tracks back and forth to Indian Reserve Road just to see where they went and I took on a couple that one, it was one of them things where it was like you were just going to hell. The farther I went down it, the more fallen trees there were, the taller the brush and whatnot were, the grass and all the other plants growing. And eventually I'm walking and carrying the bike over 
each log and tree that fell down and after a point I said you know what this is getting worse it's not getting better turn around cut your losses and walk back out and get on something a little more clear and that happened one time and then there were a couple dead ends where the, the trail just ended at a clearing or whatever and I found that out and it was nice to know oh boy but it was a good ride and I'm going to go out and do it again, like I said. But this morning we're going to hang with the loves, read our readings, say our prayers. And I'm making some hummus today. And with that, we're going to take our first break. Welcome back. And I don't mean that one little bit. And I didn't mean it when I said good morning either. Um, yeah, we didn't have a book to read to the cats last night. We finished the one we were reading to them, so that's something on the agenda today. I guess we need to go find a book to read. And... Let me pop it. Let me pop it clean up. Elsie's purring up a storm. We watched a movie last night. We were up late, weren't we? Called the Bader meinhof Complex. German film about the terrorist group from the 1970s and oh boy I don't remember what else we watched I think that was it we're up pretty late I think I was going on 1 30 quarter to 2 when I finally went to sleep oh puppy slept upstairs Mikey came and joined me Oh boy, you know another place we need to go is to get some TD food for the sweets. So maybe we won't be going back out to where I thought, but maybe we'll just do some errands. Um, Sammy. Been having issues with Sam using the litter box. He's not digging for a hole to go anymore. We got Sully digs digs to China and throws litter all over the place. Sam just steps into the box and wherever his rear end is hanging, he lets her rip. And he's been just pissing all over the floor. He's in the box, but his pee doesn't end up in there. <laughs> so that's been like three times yesterday I had to clean that up. I think I got the box a little too full of litter. What are you thinking, Sammy? You all right? Okay, baby. Yeah, Elsie's burning up a storm over here. Maxie's still just there, and Mike and Sully are outside. There's Bobby. Bobby? Bobby? Did you have a good adventure? You know, I love him. But I've come to realize he's not the sharpest tool in the shed. But that is what it is. Oh boy, he does the best he can though, unlike me. I got a lot of explaining to God to do with what I've done with my life or not done with it. But Anyway, and I was thinking about that a lot yesterday. And how I got away from things, following things, and just living my life and trying to live a simple life. And then coming back to the world, because the thing that drove me out of following world events and politics and whatnot was the invasion of Iraq and Afghanistan. And when I came back, I didn't realize how much bullshit had been pulled on us and how different this world is now. And this country and people and humanity in general. And I'm not going to go into any long, detailed, boring spiel about that, but I'm back to that mode where it's like, stay with the cats and stay in the world God made and stay the hell away from people, most people. I'm in my full Sigma male mode. We're back for a closing segment. There's Mikey. Where you Mikey? Where you going, Bobby? You going back out on another adventure? I believe he is. Sully's here on the plum spot. We're just about finished with our readings and morning prayers. Mackie's had a bite to eat. Sammy's meditating. Elsie's right out. So anyway, my grandfather, Edward Carpus, was born on this day. I can't remember what year. I think 1905. 
and he was a key player in my life. He was my father figure as my father worked on the Interlake bulk freighters and so Grandpa was my father figure and he, I, it was a big blow when he died. I think I turned 14 the year he died. Or I was 14 turning 15. Maxie's on the move to a comfy spot. So losing him was a key moment in my life. And things went downhill for quite a while after that. But anyway, we're drinking some Congo coffee. And it was also my grandmother on my father's side, second husband's birthday. But I don't remember what year he was born, but I always remembered that. Quite a co coincidence. But that's all we got. So from the cold gray ashes and coals of my cold black heart, my broken, beaten, battered, bruised, bloody, burdened, empty, hollow, cracked, shattered, hopeless, forsaken, forsaken, and forlorn soul. Piss off. Happy No Complaint Thursday, and thanks for not tuning in. <laughs>